Now we're gonna test a double replacement reaction. So we're going to be mixing some potassium nitrate with some sodium carbonate, okay? Mix up a little bit. So we're gonna test each reactant individually first. So this is my potassium nitrate. Okay. Yeah, I rinse. And this is my sodium carbonate. Okay. DI yeah, rinse. And now I'm going to mix them both together. Okay. Mix them both together. So I'm going to pour my potassium nitrate into my sodium carbonate solution. And it still lights up okay so what's interesting about this is that means no precipitate is formed right I still have I still have all ions in this solution okay so it's a bunch of aqueous things floating around a bunch of ions floating around which makes it light up okay so if we were doing net ionic equations for that one we would have a net ionic equation that has no reaction all right okay so another double replacement reaction we are going to be missing mixing acetic acid with some ammonium hydroxide here's my acetic acid That is 0.1 molar acetic acid. All right. Let's rinse this off. And here's 0.1 molar ammonium hydroxide. DI rinse. And then we're going to mix them together, see if there's a double replacement reaction that occurs. So I'm going to pour the acetic acid into the ammonium hydroxide. Okay, so you can see what happened with that light. It got brighter. It's very interesting. Okay. Can't wait to talk about why that happens, but I want you to think about it. Okay, what is going on? Why did that happen?